Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. As far as we receive a new jailbreak, and I'm talking here about the Uncover and the Chimera jailbreak, starting from iOS 11 up to 12.2. So let's go ahead and talking about some tweaks for that new jailbreak. Before I'm gonna be start today's video, let me ask you guys to give the video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you will be notified always whenever I release a tweaks video. Okay, so let me start right now with the first week that I have for you guys and let me talking about the XP spotlight scroll. So that will be make you to put any kind of page and you can configure that from under the settings and, uh, and instead of the spotlight. So if I want to show you guys right now, if I want to go right now and expect to open my spotlight, it will be come with the control center so you can switch all those configuration and things from the under the settings so if we go ahead right now and jump under the settings go ahead first of all and enable the tweak in here if you want to read under the options so you can select the location from near so you have more than option first of all if you want to lock your device and also if you want to show your app switcher and also if you want to back to icon list I put it already on the show control center and you have the show options and remove the page so this is how the tweak will be work and if you go ahead right now go to the bottom a little bit you can toggle the disable pull down and this is the way of that tweak so as I show you guys it is really beautiful scroll to open your spotlight here to open other like your control center your switcher will be right away from your spotlight page you can do that with that tweak so as i told you guys that we called xb spotlight scroll let's go ahead right now to move to the next one so the next one i will be talking about the auto wall basically once you download the tweak that tweak will be allow you to place any kind of wallpaper in your eye device and that will be uh change by itself depends on the time that you put from the under the settings so if we will go ahead right now and jump under the settings first of all go ahead and enable the tweak and also we have to manage wallpaper so this is what I told you so you can top on the plus here and that will be take you right away into your studio or where you have your pictures so for example if I go here right now and choose this one here for example, that will be giving you the time. So you can choose the time from there. You can set the time. You can choose whatever you want to uh, change that wallpaper or instead of the one that you use in your iDevice, you can choose the lock screen, home screen, or the home screen, lock screen at the same time, or you can top on the cancel. And this is the way of that tweak. And if you want to reset all the settings, it is available under the settings here and this is how is the tweak will be work which is really beautiful and nice for most of you guys so as i told you guys that we called auto wall let's go ahead right now to talking about the next one the blackout so basically this will be bring a dark mode into your eye device it will be work on your deck it will be work on folders it will be work on your notification it will be work on some of the apps on your iDevice. This is what pretty much that week will be provide you with. If we talking about the settings, there is nothing to configure. So once you download that week, that week will be work right away as I show you guys. And once again, if you're looking to download that week, as I told you guys, that week called blackout. Let's go ahead right now to move to the next one, the air power lock. So basically this is a widget. You can place that on your lock screen, home screen. Once you want to use that widget, you need to have the X and HTML in order to make that work in your iDevice. So if I want to show you guys how is that will be looks like, I already placed that widget on my lock screen. If you want to take a look at it right now, this is the design of 
that widget and once again i just want to remind you guys if you want to place that in your iDevice you need to use the x in html in order to place that widget on your lock screen home screen once again if you guys looking to bring that kind of style in your iDevice go ahead and download the air power lock let's move on right now to the next one the mini grid switcher and this is will be bring nice and beautiful style of a switcher if I want to go right now into my switcher you can see it become with the small pages here on the top of that the icon and also you have your DAC still available so you can use your DAC at the same time and this is how is that we will be work and if you want to kill any one of these apps from in here just simply swipe up just like that and you will be killed that page this is what basically the tweak will be provide you with and if we talking about the settings there is nothing to configure so once you download the tweak that tweak will be work right away once you install it in your iphone once again if you guys looking to download that tweak as i told you guys that we called mini grid switcher so anyway guys this is the most tweak that i want to share with you guys in today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget give the video a huge thumbs up and also make a short subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new video catch you with the next one peace